stop that. <laughs> hey, son. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Hauge and I do the awesome Max Hunt, which is a company that focuses on everything around my trucks. I have two trucks and I'm doing shows with them and the best part of it, I'm doing YouTube videos about my experience. The last one was in my Scania 77, which I took all the way to the US on a ferry from Hamburg to Baltimore, traveled more than 15,000 kilometers all over the US during eight weeks. I get a lot of questions what this is all about. Actually, the whole thing started as me traveling around the world in a Land Rover Defender, exploring the world, meeting a girl from Sweden, ending up here in Sweden with her, getting a boy, Arne, who is seven today, and we are still traveling around the world with our two boys now, Eric and Arne, who always participate in everything we do. But as it is in life, it's not just about the funny stuff, you have to work as well. And that's why I created two trucks, which I can use for working. And that's very important because we travel like two or three, sometimes four times, a, a four months a year. But beside that, we need trucks that we can use for work. And what I do is traveling with boats all over Europe. I do shows with this truck because I have a DJ container, I have a bar, a stage and everything. And if there's nothing going on with that, I can use it for doing crane stuff, helping the carpenters or whatever. So it's a multiple transformer. One of my two trucks is this Scania R500 8x8. No air suspension, no nothing. It's a real truck made for going off-road. Why? The thing that happened, I have plans about traveling Paris Dakar, I have plans about going to Africa and Australia with this truck and our living container. And I needed a truck that can go anywhere. And for that, I called Scania and said, listen up, I need a truck that I Do you have a used one? And luckily, the Dutch army had uh, tested some vehicles and this one was over because they used it for testing it for electronic equipment. So it had only gone 4,000 kilometers. I bought it, it was blue and it was very ugly, but it has everything technically that I needed for my experiences. As mentioned, it's an eight by eight. I have a differential on all axles and something special, I can cut everything off. So if I get stuck somewhere, I can draw it out without taking down the karang and, and get it drawn. We have air in the front, so it can be used like in trailer if it doesn't work. What else to tell about it? It is very tall. Today it is on Michelin's 14R20. That means it became even higher than the original is. And because of that, I had to lower the point of uh, attachment for the container because it can only be four meters in most parts of Europe. But here in Sweden, we are allowed to be 450. So I will make a deck in between, which I use here in Sweden, but going to other places in Europe, I'll take that deck away and go wherever we want to, all over the world. The thing that is very important for me, because we live in the north of Scandinavia, is light. So I attached a lot of working lights. You see them here below the container and all the way in the front, because I need light during the winter time when it's very dark up here. And on the roof, we, will, we have several big light bars, working lights. So when we're standing working with it during the winter or in dark times anywhere in the world, we have the light that we need to work. At the back end, same story as anywhere else, it must be practical. And that's why we changed the angle on the whole vehicle so that we get a lot of ground clearance when we go up the mountains so that we don't have the back of the truck hitting down the ground. And you see all the lamps, we have put them into a, a, a metal cover so that they are protected when we go in there. And now we come to the backlight. And for that, I have used the Siberia tail light because it's one small, tiny, very effective light that includes everything here in the back and is easily, easily to uh, improve, uh, integrate into your construction. If you see it here, 
It has everything I need. It has normal light, it has brake lights, it has the indicator light if I want to turn, and if I want to go backwards, it has white light as well. Everything integrated into this tiny little masterpiece. Inside the truck, everything is still like it was when I bought the truck. We have uh, seats with five points uh, seat belts, like in a helicopter almost. In the back, we have two additional seats for the boys. They are called gunner seats, actually. That's where the gunner in the military normally seats who jumps out of the roof to shoot. But I will keep everything seat-wise and technically like it is in here, but I will pimp it inside like my Scania 770 with leather and everything, so it becomes nice and cozy. Likewise, we went totally nuts with this truck. In the front, we have a lot of long lights integrated with flashlights. At the back, of course, it's a Scania V8, and I like the V8, and I like the sound of the V8, and that's why we have done high pipes on it, and we put the logo in red light on the back of the cabin. One of my very good friends back home in Denmark asked me, how would your preferred bumper look for this truck? because he wanted to build it for me. I had some ideas about integrating the lights because the round lights are very Scandinavian. That's what we do in Denmark. It's a typical Danish backend. The Norwegian go for squares, the Danes go for round lights, and there must be three lights. It's very old school and that's what we like. So I chose the Dark Knight, integrated it into the bumper, into some tubes in the bumper. We, we uh, angled it slightly and made put a big, big, big working light within the bumper too. Inside of my 770, I have tried to combine the old school style with the old red carpet with new leather style, the Chesterfield style. It's very dark in here, but I like it. Com in, in combination with the red light, I just think it's awesome. 